Oke, okay, mak. Uh, 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 see like a weird glare we're gonna see two hands i'm using my old phone at the moment because my phone don't have storage on it i don't know why my phone's just tripping and then pretty much this phone is clean so i'm just gonna use this phone for recording until i give me a camera but today's video we're probably doing a product review video pretty much all the new makeup that i got and i'm gonna tell you my thoughts about it the prices and I don't, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I thought I had three, but we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do how much, well, how much they were, or how much is the product, and what are my thoughts of the product. And yeah, so let's hop right into the video. First thing we're gonna start off is, and mind you, all the makeup I got recently is from Sephora. So the prices may be different from everybody else's. So I'm just saying, don't take my word on it. So we're gonna start with the i made a little list you can tell by made a list with all the prices and stuff on there so we're gonna go down the list and we're gonna start with the first thing this is 42 dollars this is a diamond balm for fenty beauty and i'm pretty sure you've seen this before i don't know if people have seen this but this camera but this is the diamond balm right here it's like a light shimmer you can't tell because like really white i probably put like in some put footage of it so this is $42. It's like a body glitter. I mean, I can read it what it is. It is a all over diamond veil and pretty much a body glitter. <laughs> so I will give this a 10 out of 10. It works every time. I put it, sometimes I use this as highlighter and also use this on like put this first and then some lip gloss. Yeah, that's a look right there. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for $42, you get what you get. So. I would recommend getting this if you want body glitter or just extra glitter for your makeup. Okay, the next thing, now mind you, most of the stuff I do got makeup wise is from my minis. Like you know how Sephora has like points and you use those points to get like little mini stuff of the actual version. So I got this thing, it's the Fenty Skin in like a toner. And I pretty much use this after, I used this before my moisturizer. And I will honestly give it a 10 out of 10 because it really, Pills. I've been using this like probably like last two days because after I use it with my makeup and then if I go to bed after I wash my face, I use this and it really makes my skin really, really soft. It smells really, really good. Like it's not a weird smell or nothing like that. This, the minis, I don't, they're not a price for the mini size, but the actual size of it is actually $34 and that's not actually pretty bad for a toner that actually works. So, I recommend getting this if you want to get a good toner. So my thing was $34 on the forest site. So yeah. Next thing we have is the makeup by Mario Foundation. I got this foundation I think a few weeks ago. I just never made a video about it because I wanted to have like a good amount of stuff to make a product review video of it. So this is makeup by Mario. I got in the shade um 19C. I could have went a little bit darker, like one shade darker. But for what it is, it works. I'm actually wearing it right now today. Um, mixed with like other, I mixed this and my Fenty Beauty was way too dark together and it gave me the perfect combination. So that's what this is right here. And this is actually $42. And ooh, <laughs> it almost landed on the ground. But for what it is, I would say people who are celebrities or celebrity makeup artists coming out with makeup, you're going to expect the makeup prices to be high. So, forty two dollars for this is not honestly shocking because you know it's it's um, makeup by Mario. He done Kim Kardashian's makeup. He done other celebrities' makeup. His makeup's gonna be expensive, so be prepared for that. But honestly, I will give this a nine out of ten. The reason I'm not giving it a ten out of ten because sometimes foundation smell can have an effect on me. But it it has a light smell. But other than that, I love this foundation. 
So I'm, I'm definitely gonna get this again when I run out, which is unlikely because this is full. And this glass. <laughs> okay, next product. Next product that I got um is the NARS concealer because I wanted more of like a skin type concealer. But one of those days where I don't want to wear like a tense makeup, but I don't look like I put in effort. So this is the NARS. This is the shade um Truffle. And this is actually $32. Now, like I said before, more high rank up products, especially companies, are going to be expensive. So $32 for this. It's actually kind of worth it because a lot comes in here is is glass and it's a really good product. But you know you can find probably somewhere this cheaper in store or online. But for what I got, I got it for thirty two dollars. So yeah, honestly, I'll give it a I'll give it a nine out of ten. The only time I give it a nine out of ten because sometimes I don't know if it's just way I blend, but sometimes I have to blend a little bit more extra when I put it around my mouth on my smile lines. But I don't know if that's just me though. So like I said, the the way I get my reviews may be different for your reviews. So you just gotta buy it yourself and just try it. But nine out of ten, I highly recommend this concealer if you want like skin tone skin tone concealer or just anything for contour wise. So yeah. Next product. So this product right here is actually a sample of like a mini. It's the Charlotte Timberry. I feel like I'm saying that totally wrong it's like a moisturizer and once again it's glass so this is interesting so actually this is of the mini this mini you're not gonna believe it this mini costs 30 dollars i didn't spend 30 dollars on this i got it for freeze as a mini of what my points but the original size like the natural size of this is a hundred dollars and if you want any if you want even a bigger size of it is $260. So I would say when I run out of this, I probably won't, but it's a good moisturizer, don't get me wrong, 10 out of 10, it's a good moisturizer. It makes my, my skin feel soft, you know, and if, when I add the primer, it'd be sticky, like it, it's great. But I'm not about to spend $100 on a moisturizer. You know what I mean? If you have the money, do it. But personally, I, I wouldn't do it. So that's why when this go out, that's it. <laughs> but honestly, I would give it a high, I'll give it a nine or a 10 out of it because you know, I just start using this. So I'll probably update it if I keep using this or not. Or hey, if I do get the money, who may never know? I may, I may not spend a hundred dollars on it first time, but I like it and it makes my skin feel very, very smooth after I put on the toner. So I do the toner and then on the moisturizer, when those two together, it gave me a nice smooth glazed donut feel. You know what I mean? So that's that. <laughs> the next part that we have is a brown pencil. It's from Sephora and it actually is in the shade chocolate brown. And this actually go for $12. It's, actually from the, it's a Sephora brand and it's dark brown. I use a brown pencil normally to like outline my shade first and then I'll go in with like a black shadow to like fill it in type thing. But if I want to use it just like a by itself, I tend to like use this like at the beginning of it and like give it like my natural brown hair. Not brown hair. I mean, I kind of got, I got brown hair, but um, I like this 10 out of 10 and it didn't do me wrong. The pencil didn't break yet, and you just got a little, you just got to um, twist it at the top, and it will come off right at the top. And then this what it looks like here. Yeah, so very sheer. I just use it for an outline. So $12 for a brown pencil. You can get somewhere cheaper, but I needed one at the time being, so the I got it. <laughs> I just brought on my charger. Uh... Uh, the next product is it was this. Ooh, I'm really excited about this one. So when I saw on the 50 Beauty paper they was coming out with new liquid lipstick velvets, particularly, I was like, I have to get my hands on it right now. I don't care how much it costs. I'm going to get it. So, with that being said, this is the new Fenty Beauty uh, Velvet Lip Matte Lipstick, and I am in love. I'm actually wearing it right now. And I got in the shade Breadwinner. I want to get this in red. And from where I'm from, well, the way Miles raised, 
my mom said if I wear red, that means I'm a a garden tool. If you know, if if you know, you know. But you know, if a red mixed in ain't gonna be too bad. You know what I mean? But just for the time being, I got this one, and this is actually cost twenty nine dollars, so technically thirty dollars for this. And that's not bad. Mind you, some of these products things are all like on sale. It's not the original price, but when I bought it, this is how much I paid for it at the time being. So, yeah, so Fenty Beauty, 10 out of 10. It made the perfect brown lipstick, and this is good for like, you could put a gloss on top of it, or you could just have like a little ombre effect, or just, you know, an outline even. But this is probably one of my favorite products of the list today. And then the packaging, come on, look at the FB on top. Look at that. That's so cool how they did that. And then when you open it, you see like a little, that was clear before. And then you just like, it gives her the access. So you don't really have to mess it up. Genius. So, love this product, 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. <laughs> so that is all the products for today. And so if you kind of take everything i probably spent like maybe like a hundred and something dollars as a four that's minus all the mini stuff that that mini stuff was free so i had to worry about that um but yeah i'm very happy with the purchase that i made and i will be doing more product reviews in the future not if i get a new product i'm gonna make a video but when i get a good handful amount i will make a video for you guys so you can um see the new makeup that i bought um but it's kind of like a short video because I just want to show you guys the new makeup that I got. So yeah, um, with that being said, this is the end of the video. If you like it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And what should more videos have to do? If there's any makeup I should try, let me know down below. And uh, I was sorry why I'm not the constant upload. <sighs> this is gonna be a little disclaimer. I've been, I'm not really going through stuff. I've just been busy and I just don't have the energy to do a film a video. But I will try to get back out there, you know, try to at least try to at least get a video out at least a week. At least try to. Don't wait till like months later to make a video. But um, I'm gonna get better. <laughs> but like I said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>